Can UMC expand significantly in the next few years and become the next TSMC? UMC, Taiwan's second largest contract chipmaker and the world's third largest foundry, has received far less attention than market leader TSMC. Both TSMC and UMC are based in Hsinchu, Taiwan, but TSMC's revenue was more than seven times that of UMC's last year. Much of the talk about Taiwan's semiconductor market has overshadowed UMC, focusing instead on TSMC developing the world's most advanced chips for fabulous chipmakers like Apple, AMD and Qualcomm. But can UMC expand significantly in the next few years and become the next TSMC? In the future, who will be better between UMC and TSMC? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. Since the 1990s, the IT industry has been the backbone of Taiwan's economy, and Semiconductor Foundry has been the backbone of Taiwan's IT industry. For quite a long time, the development of well-known IT companies in Taiwan has benefited from this basic advantage. The rise of Taiwan's semiconductor foundry has benefited from a major innovation in the industrial model. Prior to this, world-renowned semiconductor companies were responsible for both design and manufacturing. The investment in chip design starts at 1 billion US dollars, and chip manufacturing is even more. This makes semiconductors an expensive industry that is both technology-intensive and capital-intensive, and the entire market is firmly controlled by several giants, and latecomers rarely have the opportunity to enter. Taiwan's great innovation in the semiconductor industry is to divide design and manufacturing into two, thus giving birth to two new industries, chip design and chip manufacturing. Simply put, it is to allow companies with design capabilities to focus on design, and companies with manufacturing capabilities to focus on manufacturing, and because of the focus, design and manufacturing will be better. This subdivision has greatly reduced the cost of entering the semiconductor industry, and the market originally controlled by a few giants has also changed. Maurice Chang of TSMC is considered to be the founder of this change. Back in 1980, Taiwan's government-backed Industrial Technology Research Institute, ITRI, spun off UMC to become the region's first semiconductor company. Maurice Chang, then chairman of ITRI, founded TSMC in 1987. In the first 15 years of UMC's establishment, the three major businesses of wafer foundry, IC design, and storage were equally emphasized, namely the IDM model. However, TSMC is a foundry that specializes in making chips for other fabulous chipmakers. In 1995, UMC announced that the company would specialize in wafer foundry. However, large IC design companies are worried about technology outflow and are unwilling to hand over chips to UMC. UMC can only receive orders from small and medium-sized enterprises. With the sound of doubts, from 1996 to 1997, UMC gradually spun off the IC design department into independent companies, and they also provided a lot of orders for the development of UMC's foundry business. In 1999, UMC ushered in the historical peak, occupying about 40% of the global foundry market share. For years, UMC and TSMC remained fierce contenders in the process race to make smaller, denser chips, measured in nanometers. But in 2018, UMC paused development of smaller chips above the 14 nanometers node and ceded the high-end market to TSMC, Samsung and Intel. The situation that UMC faced at that time was that they invested a lot of money in research and development of a new technology, and other companies' technology had matured, and the price began to drop. As a result, UMC's new technology was uncompetitive, and then continued to lose money and lag behind until the next generation of technology. UMC's two new CEOs have finally made the decision to stop investing in advanced processes below 12 nanometers and to stop pursuing being the market leader and instead focus on improving the company's ROI. The company's focus is on a number of processes that are now mature. UMC said that in the 12 nanometers and above process foundry market, UMC's share is only 9.1%, and its revenue is about 5 billion US dollars. Once the market share grows to 15%, there is still 60% market space to grow and revenues will reach over $8 billion. 
Meanwhile, TSMC, which uses ASML's EUV system to make more advanced chips, continues to produce smaller 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer chips. It is currently rolling out its 4 nanometers and 3 nanometers chips. In the most recent quarter, a quarter of UMC's revenue came from 22 28 nanometer chips. The rest come from larger and older nodes. For comparison, TSMC generated more than half of its revenue in its most recent quarter from 5 nanometers and 7 nanometers chips. As a result, UMC is often considered a contract chipmaker for low-end chips, especially cheaper mobile devices, connected cars, industrial machines and Internet of Things (IoT) gadgets, while TSMC is the go-to maker for top-tier chips high-end mobile phones, high-performance computers and other demanding markets. So, which of these two companies is growing faster? UMC's annual revenue is growing at a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 7.6% between 2016 and 2021, and its net income is growing at a CAGR of 46.3%. Over the five-year period, TSMC's annual revenue has grown at a CAGR of 10.5%, while its net income has grown at a CAGR of 12.5%. Driven by strong market demand for smaller, denser chips, TSMC sales grew more strongly than UMC's, but its net income grew at a slower pace as it needed to aggressively increase R&D spending to stay ahead of Samsung, Intel and other foundries in the process race. Analysts expect UMC's revenue to grow 31% in 2022 and to decline 13% in 2023 as the semiconductor market cools. They expect TSMC's revenue to grow 43% in 2022. But facing the same unfavorable macro environment, growth is only expected to be 4% in 2023. But in the long run, the two chipmakers should continue to grow as the broader semiconductor industry rebounds. So why won't UMC become the next TSMC? Before UMC exits the nano race in 2018, it may have a chance, albeit a long time, to become the next TSMC. But over the past four years, UMC has made it very clear that this is not its ultimate goal. Instead of pouring tens of billions of dollars a year into the latest chip designs and EUV systems, UMC seems content to make cheaper, but no less important, chips for a wide range of customers. The strategy exposes it to more direct competition from other underdog foundries such as Global Foundries and Chinese chipmaking giant SMIC, but dealing with these smaller rivals is arguably less expensive than chasing TSMC. In short, UMC will not be the next TSMC. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad investment, it's another bellwether in the semiconductor industry. In short, no matter in terms of technology, scale, or market, it is impossible for UMC to become the next TSMC. It's just, isn't it worth paying attention to not becoming TSMC? The situation is just the opposite. Because UMC has a strong competitive advantage in mature manufacturing processes, UMC will be a target worthy of attention, and it has the opportunity to have an outstanding performance in the next semiconductor cycle. As for surpassing TSMC in this field, it is estimated that there is still a long way to go before UMC. Next, let's wait and see. So, what do you think of these two companies? Which company's future are you more optimistic about? Do you think UMC can become the next TSMC? Well, thanks for listening. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.